Hi, good morning, all of you. Uh, today we'll see how to maintain your admi administrator certification. Right? Uh, so appeared. Okay, so how many members completed your administrator certification before spring 21? Okay, all those people obviously have to do the certification maintenance. Right? Uh, so here, this is a scenario we have. But today we have to do this uh, task. Okay, so first of all, what we have to do, we need to create a, a new trailhead playground. You got it to avoid the some disturbances in code and okay, the type of uh, situations what we have to do so first of all we need to uh, create a a new playground how to create the playground how to create the playground see for example let's see just i'm going to uh, copy the name as the administration certification just you can come here so here this one is there now just you can come here here we have create a playground create playground just click on here and here you have to enter the name this time i'm going to enter here administrator certification just click on create just click on create so it will take a few minutes okay so it will take few minutes so why we go see so we are going to create an object from the spreadsheet right so obviously we have to provide the username and password to okay so create the object in a by using the spreadsheet so that's the reason they, they are always saying so whenever you're creating when you're working with a, a new one obviously we have to create the a new trial header playground just wait for the two minutes. So once it is completed, what we have to do, right? Uh, so you have to note down your username, and then after you have to reset your password also. You have to reset your a uh, password also. right so we create an and then after what we have to do we need to click on launch so when i click on launch button obviously so what was the trailhead trailhead playground you created so that will be open click on launch and obviously it will be in lighting platform not in a classic data so we have to work in lighting platform only the concept of what are the tasks that provided to us that we have to work with lighting and then after so here a get your credentials is there now get your credentials is there now first we have to click on get your credentials right so what was the a username we have what was the username this a uh, trailhead playground username is there now just we can copy that copy that somewhere copy that somewhere right then after what we have to do you have to provide the password also right so what we have to do next we need to reset the password just click on reset my password just click on reset my password right and obviously we have to check your mail and then after you can reset it okay so just i'm stopping my screen share Like, see here so what i did 
I opened my new trailhead dragon. New trailhead dragon. Then what we have to do? The first step is what? The first step is what? Better. So first I need to download the spreadsheet. Okay, download the spreadsheet. Just click on this same spreadsheet and automatically it will be downloaded. Better. Once it's downloaded, what we have to do? We have to create a custom object by using spreadsheet. Custom object by using spreadsheet. Right. Now you can go here, Salesforce Hall, and just you can type here in this quick find box, just you can object manager, object manager, object manager. Got it? So just click on that object manager. So basically, we are creating a new object like this. Right, a creating object. Right, just you can come here and then here, custom object from the spreadsheet. Custom object from the where spreadsheet. So just select this one. Just select this one. Then obviously, so they are asking for the, the login details. Right, what was the username and password of your a new playground? What you created? Right, you have to enter that information, that username and password, not your regular a Salesforce username. Got it? See here. Login with Salesforce, login with Salesforce. So here, what we have to do? So we need to enter the username and the password. We need to enter the username and password, right? This is my username now. Just I'm going to copy this username. Copy it, paste it. And here you have to enter the password. Right, then click on login, then click on login. right you need to hello this scroll down then click on hello then click on hello right so upload by using csv file but right? because here they already given one uh, spreadsheet now nah? right so here i'm going to upload by using spreadsheet right let's click on upload let's click on upload uh, where you download it where you download it so the downloads and what was the spreadsheet the laptop warranty laptop warranty just we can call that just we can call that see here so here you have to uh, check once uh, what was the uh, mapping that is uh, so correctly mapped or not a customer this text email and uh, support level and the expiry date, 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 and activity, uh, active warranty that is checkbox here. So, why this active warranty is checkbox here? Just you can observe carefully here. So, add a condition to support level field and the expiration date field to only appear when active field is checked. Means what? Checked is nothing but what? Obviously, active warranty is the checkbox. Right? Now, you can come here. So, this is the checkbox now. Right, so mapping field will be correct. Then after click on next. See here, what was the label? Right, so here they already given. See, the object label is what a laptop a warranty. Right, object label is what laptop warranty. Got it. And what was the plural name? S and API name. APM they given to here. Laptop warranty. This is the API name. Just we can cross check it once. Obviously, API name is the same, but you have to cross check later. Right? And then after click on finish, then after click on finish. So what we did, what we did, so we created, we created a custom object. We created a custom object by using spreadsheet. Done. Then what we have to do? So we need to do the reminding steps. Reminding step. You got it. So then you can go to here and just you can type here what was the object we created? What was the object here created? That is laptop warranty. See here, laptop warranty. Right. Then click on this ob object and click on this object. See. So then you can come here, not recent view. Just you have to select here 
all the records all the records see but these are the records these are the records so we created through the spreadsheet right so then then you can open any one of the record then you can open any one of the record any one of the record so what we have to do so we are going to work with this uh, active warranty this field right so whenever we are checking this field right i want to show support level and expiration date support level and expiration date when i'm clicking on that activity this is one type of uh, field dependency right then what we have to do then you can go here the uh, settings here we have edit page is there now edit page is there now then click on that edit page then click on that uh, edit page right then what we have to do so what are the steps we have okay upgrade the record details the customer object in dynamic forms right with the information section the detail tab is selected right so change the a format to the one column right what we have to do we need to change to the single column single column so i'm closing this one single column you got it so just you can select this one just you can select this one so first of all what we have to do here we have upgrade now is there now so just click on that uh, upgrade now just click on that upgrade now then click on next and here you have to uh, select uh, what was the object we created means that object particular layout we are going to update then click on finish then click on finish see it is updated it is updated then after what we have to do so we need a, a single column single column so here we have two columns is there now so what we have to do just we can uh, drag and drop this one drag and drop this one right uh, once you drag and drop this one see here just you have to here right side single column is enough just click on the single column and automatically your layout will be details layout will be in a single column in a single column right uh, so we did this one next one is that move active warranty field above the uh, support uh, level field right uh, so here active warranty field is there now so what we have to do we need to move to the support level so above the a support level so here it will be last one now just you can move to the above the support level above the support level right the second one also done then add a condition to support level field and expiration date field only appear when the active warranty field is checked right right then you can come here just click on support level click on support level and then after click here add filters just you can go here advanced then click here select the field select the field so here the record the record uh, which record that is active warranty that is active warranty click on done active warranty record is true right uh, then click on done then click on done for the support level then after coming to the expiration date also click on add filter see here active warranty equals to true obviously it will be updated then click on done then click on done got a point right so then what we have to do we need to save this layout right so just click on save you can click on save right let's click on activate let's click on activate so here you have to observe here say active and assign org default for desktop and phone right so click here assign as org default then after desktop and phone then click on next right then click on save then click on save got it so finally just click here so once again save button just click here once again save button right so now we are going to check the output now we can come here now we can come here right open any one of the record open any one of the record So whenever, whenever active warranty equals to true, right? Whenever the active warranty equals to true, then only, then only what? The two objects, what were the date and the support level will be displayed. See here, just I'm checking this one. See here, I got two things. When I'm unchecking this one, see here. This is a task. This is the task. 
got it right so now you can go here in detail for active warranty for this record this record it will be the true checked for these two records will be unchecked right so when you open directly when you open directly this record right these two fields will be visible these two fields will be visible right see here active warranty what happened is by default it is about no problem okay just you can come here and then after just uh, um, check this one got it the task was 